In addition to the full scan, two new options have been added to the DALI scan. A partial scan only searches for unaddressed devices. This is useful if you want to add new devices to an existing installation, as it shortens the DALI scan considerably. Restoring LDALI devices in the bootloader is a tool that can be used to restore devices that are stuck in the bootloader, for example, due to a power failure during the firmware update. This function only searches for LDALI devices in this state. If such a device has been found, the new firmware must now be imported. The LDALI controller now supports the Loitech devices LDALI-RM5 and LDALI-RM6. These modules can either be used as simple relay modules or as converters for ballasts with a 1 to 10 volt interface with a maximum output current of 50 milliamps. Support has been added for the LDALI PWM4, a constant voltage LED driver with four output channels, each of which can be controlled via a separate DALI address. It can handle 12 to 24 VDC. Support is also provided to the LDALI PD1, a dimmer module that is suitable for integration of LED retrofit and halogen lamps in DALI lighting applications. It can handle up to 240 VAC. You can find detailed information in the Loitech device user manual. The DIIA certification database, also known as the DALI Alliance, is now integrated and can be used for device identification. DALI 2 certified devices are identified by their GTIN and displayed in the scan results with the correct type and manufacturer. The database is also used for improvements such as calculating electricity consumption. LDALI MS2BT and LDALI MS4BT have a Bluetooth interface and can therefore send a Bluetooth beacon information. You can also search for other beacons within your radio range. Beacons can be sent in the iBeacon or Eddystone UID format to receive location information. LWeb Beacon can be used to support extended functions for mobile room control with the new LWeb app for iOS and Android smartphones. Beacons in the vicinity of a sensor can also be recorded and transmitted. A detailed description of the Bluetooth functions can be found in the LDALI user manual. For LDALI modules with the BACnet interface, the data points PIR sensitivity and acoustic sensitivity have been added to the occupancy sensor objects. This enables easy sensitivity adjustments for different detection methods. The data point acoustic sensitivity only works for the LDALI MS2 BT and LDALI MS4 BT sensors, while PIR sensitivity can be used for any sensor that supports sensitivity according to IEC 62386-303. For LDALI models with Lonmark interface, the configuration network variables NCI PIR SEN and NCI Acoustic SEN have been added to the occupancy sensor object. Further information can be found in the Loitech DALI user manual. <laughs>